pretty much froze. Okay, y'all, uh, I'm bumping her up just a hair, man. This thing is just really precise here. Huh? The screen fell off the back door. Wind caught it. Oh, man. You right. Hello, man. You get her glued up? Buttoned up. Hey, y'all. Uh, over here at the nice lady's house and uh, doing a change out for her. I'm gonna get rid of this 100,000 BTU furnace here. And uh, outside unit, I'm gonna be putting in a new coil, AC, and furnace 95% plus. All right, here we go with the new uh, 90,000 BTU, 95%. Good. All right, y'all. Trying to get a few shots when I can. Getting ready to mount the disconnect. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, old disconnect was too close to the ground. Wouldn't be going to fly on code. Uh, I'm cutting it close with my my vent. I'm right at 36 inches for my main. So, well, it's actually at 37. So, we should fly on that. All right. Here's my first red. Alright, y'all, got the disconnect here on. Hey, y'all, I uh, got the test goes out. Uh, doing like a pressure test. Uh, I have been using my, uh, my other gauges, my compound gauges to pressure test with, but went ahead and uh, ran her up and uh, with the nitrogen and I actually added just a little bit of, uh, of R410A to it and I took my sniffer out and uh, checked her out with my sniffer real good where she sits in all her glory beautiful unit Got done cutting my new combustion combustion airs in. Okay, y'all, we're getting ready to charge the unit here. It's our first rud. Uh, we've got exactly, I don't know how I did it, but I've got it exactly 30 foot of line set on here. Um, uh, 7 8 3 eighths. it's saying 3 eighths OD takes 0.5 ounces per foot. So we got an additional 15 foot. 15 times 0.5 equals 7.5 ounces. We've got this scale zeroed and we're going to add 7.5 ounces to it. Alright, 140 or 14.4 superheat, 13.4 subcooling, 98 psi on my suction, 238 on my liquid. Uh, Suction line uh, temperature is 45 degrees. Liquid line temperature is 67 degrees. Evaporator temperature is 30.7. Condenser temperature is 81.0. We're looking at delta T is 22.2. .2.
I think we're looking pretty good. And uh, I wanted to take care of what me and Dallas was talking about. Uh, well, that was like my first unit, and uh, like I said, I like to go by the manual, and the manual requires that you have this uh, this three-quarter condensate uh, line here. Well, I'm going to take this off too, Dallas. Static pressure. <clears throat> uh, requires that this be up uh, right right around the inducer. So, okay, we'll uh, we'll try to get some footage of that too. All right, y'all, uh, we're still on uh, RUD uh, installation two, but we came back over to RUD installation one. Um, I wanted to rework the gas. I wanted to get a nice gas cock on here, and I also wanted to put uh, one of these standoffs, you know, so the the, the gas pipe don't move or anything. Um, also brought that up to you, Dallas. What do you think about that? And we are removing the cap for static pressure. All right, buddy. We'll holler at you. Okay, y'all. We're gonna fire this furnace off, and we bled the gas. I'm going to fire the furnace up just for a minute. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you didn't have to take your mother today? Mm -hmm, she's driving now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh lucky you. It's me. Hey, y'all. This will be just a real short video. Uh, back over here at uh, Miss K's. This is uh, Rub 1. And I had to let the inspector in today. And there we go. There's that pretty green right there. Rochester's heating in there. Like I said, this is just for, you know, it's a safety thing. Okay, y'all. Thanks for watching. Talk at you later. Bye-bye.